Welcome back to Fat Cloud TV, brought to you by Vapor Chief. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the best RTAs of 2017. Alright, so now we've come to the time of the year where we'll see a lot of best of videos and um, RTAs. There's a lot of RTAs being released this year. I think, um, for sure, this year was like a year of RTAs and squat mods. Well, towards the end of the year, it was, uh, it was squat mods, but... Um, we saw a lot of different RTAs being released, and we saw a lot of single coils RTAs being released, which is a good thing for many people because it gives people the option. A lot of people just prefer single coils because you don't have to vape them at higher wattages, or they provide less airflow, or more strict to draw, have more flavor, or less flavor. Um, you know, each RTA is different in regards to what they offer and how they're designed and whatever. So uh, I'll start by going over dual coil RTAs and. Um, I'll list some of the best of 2017. In our opinion, of course, if you feel like there's an RTA that we didn't mention and you want to let us know, feel free to leave a comment and let us know which RTA was your favorite of this year. But anyway, I'm going to start it off with the first in the dual coil for dual coil RTAs, which is the Advocate Mantel RTA. This is um, definitely, we did a full review on this, by the way. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested to check out our full thoughts. But the Advocate Mantel, Definitely one of our favorite uh, dual coil RTAs of this year. When it dropped, I think um, it wasn't like, I guess, super well, well known, but it became popular really quickly as soon as people started reviewing them and getting their hands on it. And it really, uh, it was it's not the first to introduce like a bubble glass tank, but for a mass produced RTA, um, you know, with the bubble glass tank, I think it kind of uh, maybe like not started it. But it made it a little bit more popular than, than before. So, But, I mean, a lot of people don't like bubble glass tanks. But with this one, it does come with a bubble glass tank and a standard glass tank. With the bubble glass tank, it, it's, uh, I think, almost a 5 mil capacity, like 4.5 or so. And then with the straight glass tank, it's like a 3 uh, mil capacity. It has a top fill design, just like pretty much every RTA uh, that's going to be mentioned in this video. It has dual adjustable airflow at the bottom. It does have a gold plated build deck. And the build deck, it's like a... Uh, two posts, kind of, um, not like velocity, but it's kind of like staggered in a way. But it's very easy to build on. We do recommend like a two and a half millimeter or three millimeter diameter coil. Nothing bigger than that will really fit in here. Um, but the flavor and vapor from this RTA is top notch, and it's definitely one of our favorites of this year. So, moving on to the next one, I don't want to you know go over like a ton about each and every single RTA. I'm just gonna briefly go over each, just so you you know kind of know our thoughts real quick and what we think are the best. But anyway, the next one is the Ogvape Boreas V2. The original Ogvape Boreas was really, really popular, but that was back then when 22mm um, was like the, the size of Arctic for all atomizers, really. And it was like gigantic, like huge. That was a tall RTA. This one is tiny. But believe it or not, this tiny RTA holds 5ml, and it does come with, uh, I think it was three different glass tank sections. You have this 5ml one, you have a 2.5ml one, so with the 2.5ml one, it's like tiny, it's, it's short. Look, it's shorter than some RDAs. And then I think you get additional 5ml glass. But anyway, this one has a velocity style build deck. It's kind of like the steam curve or aromamizer where um, the juice kind of pulls at the bottom and it feeds into your wicks. This one is really good, it kind of surprised us. Uh, I wasn't expecting too much, but with the short profile, and um, the ease of building and wicking, it's, it just performs well and it wicks really, really well. It's pretty forgiving when it comes to wicking. Just, you know, every RTA, you want to make sure that wicking is key. But with this one, it's not too hard. Just fill the wicking channels with cotton. Just make sure it's not over, like too stuffed and you're good to go. Um, it's just, and it looks, it's a great looking RTA. And it's, it's easy to build. It's cheap too. Um, most of these RTAs mentioned here are really affordable and like wildly available, and uh, widely available. Sorry, and um, you know each of them have like a, a different design or really stood out to us. This one, it's like going back to like the standard. There's nothing crazy about it, but the performance is really good, in our opinion. 
But moving on to the next one, and these are not like in any specific order, by the way. We're just um, listing them as we you know, just listen to them. <laughs> I'm not really going in any order. But I will mention if one is my favorite out of the bunch or like sticks out the most or whatever. So the next one is the Geek Fib Amit Dual Coil. This one is not new. It just came out, I think, like the middle of the year, uh, along with the next RT I'll mention. But this one, I think, really put Geek Fib, um, when it comes to RTAs, they really did a hell of a job with this one. I think it really took that posted style build deck. And this is when posted style build decks like blew up. And it just, it's really easy to build, it's really easy to wake, and it's also very uh, forgiving. It's the the juice wicking channels are like gigantic too, so you can put a decent amount of Kai in, and it'll wick really, really well. It has an 810 drip tip, an Ultim one, as you see here. Another great feature about this RT specifically, you have two different glass tank sections. So you have one that's here, this is like shorty mode if you want to call that. And then you have a, a taller glass tank section, which holds, I think, Five or six ml of e juice. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it's definitely around there. And it adds it, you know, makes it a bit taller, but it holds more e juice. So you guys who are looking for an RTA that kind of um, could do both well, that's like short if you want it to be, or really tall if you want more e liquid capacity. This one will definitely fit uh, your needs because you have that option. Uh, it does, you know, most of these RTAs will cause e liquid really quickly depending on your build, your wattage, of course, but. Um, with like fuse clappings and stuff like that, you're going to expect to kind of go through either quick, relatively quick. But especially with dual coils. But anyway, the Geekvip M with Dual, definitely one of our favorites of the year too. It's it's just a solid performer all, all around. Uh, the next one is, like I said, mentioned in the, with the Emmet, is the Kylin RTA from Vanny Vape. This was one of their first releases. I'm not 100% sure if this is like their first, first release. Um, but the Kylan definitely put Vandy Vape on the map and it impressed a lot of people. This is in it in 6 mil mode. As you see, it's fairly tall. This is also the rainbow color. There's a bunch of different colors. It's like black stainless steel, gold, rainbow, I think blue or something. There's, there's a few different color options available. But the Kylan definitely is one of our favorite too. Um, this one, just like the M, it comes with two different tank sections, so if you want a short mode or you want a tall mode like you see here, um, you know, whatever fits your needs, you could just use it with this RTA. Just like the Amid Dual, it has a posted style build deck, it has large wicking channels, um, it has juice flow control, so, you know, which is good to you know, avoid leaking, uh, top fill design, 810 drip tip, uh, gold plated build deck, it's really easy to build on. Um, these are definitely bigger RTAs. Than what the, you know, compared to some other ones like the uh, Avicam Manta, just for example. See, if you look at the, the size difference, you know, this holds 4.5 mil with a bubble glass, and this holds 6 mil. I mean, of course, this holds more, but this is going to show you why some people like that bubble glass tank section because you're not extending the height, you're extending the width just a little bit, but you're also increasing the e liquid capacity without sacrificing how tall your RTA looks. Because if you look at that, and even the Boreas V2, I mean, that's that's crazy. So you're talking, this is 5 mil, this is 6 mil, just to show you, um, you know, how tall tanks could be and whatnot. But anyway, the Kylan, definitely one of our favorites, uh, dual core RTAs. With the Kylan, also, by the way, with the Kylan and the Emmet dual, you can put a single coil build in there, like a really, really big one. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend that because it's kind of the way the build it, uh, is designed is kind of like ideal to put a dual coil. But you can put a single coil in there, just make sure you put a load of cotton because, or have a giant, you know, diameter coil like four and a half millimeter or something. Because you want to fill those wicking channels. If you don't, you're probably going to end up leaking. But anyway, last but not least is probably my personal favorite dual coil RTA of the year for sure. This is my personal favorite, and it's the Reload RTA. This is a drip tip, by the way, from Crispy Caps, if you're wondering. Um, yeah, the Reload RTA, man. Uh, we're going to be with this. I first bought it uh, when it... Uh, not not right after it came out. I was kind of waiting for reviews and seeing what people thought about it. And it was really hard to get all your hands out it too. Um, finding one is either through the app or just a few stores really had them in stock. So I was lucky to get it quite early. Uh, I found a store and I, I picked it up right away as soon as I saw it. But it's available in different colors. You have like heat treated, I think gold, stainless steel, and this black, something like that. 
Uh, and this is definitely on the pricier side for sure. This is uh, probably double the price of all the other RTAs mentioned in the uh, dual coil section. But the Reload RTA is my favorite because I feel like it gives the best flavor. It has the best draw for my personal preference. It's very easy to build on. It's probably the most forgiving when it comes to wicking. This I have never ever had a leak on me. It's very very easy to wick. It's similar to like the Reload. I mean <laughs> this is the Reload. It's similar to the the Amit and the Kylan in regards to the build deck. They all um, feature a post style build deck but this one's just a little bit different in regards to the way the airflow is designed and to me the flavor is just a bit better on the Reload than it is on the Kylan and the Give Vander Duel. Uh, probably the best flavor in my opinion um, than all the other RTAs. This is definitely my favorite. If you don't have a Reload RTA and you don't mind the higher price tag, definitely I recommend picking one up because Man, it's just a really, really good RTA. And not, that's not saying the others are bad or whatever. The others are very, very good, but this is just my personal favorite in regards to how I like to vape. So definitely the Reload RTA. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the top single coil RTAs of 2017. So now that I've gone over some of the best RTAs of 2017 for dual coil RTAs, I'm going to go ahead and dive straight into single coil RTAs. But first, let me have a look. So anyway, just like the dual coil RTAs, the single coil RTAs, there's no... Um, there, I'm not listing them in any specific order. These are all based upon for, uh, the overall performance, the design, price point, and how easy it is to get your hands on one. So to start it off, I'm going to go ahead and, well, show you the first one, which is the OBS Creus version 2. Now, the original OBS Creus uh, RTA was actually one of my first uh, dual-coil RTAs that when I started vaping. I was more into like uh, like the Nautilus and the Aspire Atlantis tanks and the Kanger sub-tanks and a couple of RTAs. I didn't really dive into RTAs that much. And the original OBS Creus RTA really uh, released when RTAs became very popular, which was the end of towards the end of 2014, I'm pretty sure. And in 2015, they released some other ones. Um, but anyway, they're back with the Creus version two, and um, this one is a single coil RTA, so it's completely different than what we've seen from OBS uh, when it comes to the Creus line of atomizers. This one has like that 3D airflow effect where you have airflow coming in from multiple angles. The only thing I don't like about this one specifically is that you have to use a screwdriver that comes in the packaging. Uh, it doesn't use like a standard Phillips screwdriver or, or you know hex key or whatever. So I mean that might be a downfall to you. But the overall performance and price point, I mean this can be found for around like 20 bucks uh, online. And then the, the performance is really really good. The flavor is excellent. Um, the, the build deck is raised, so it's more of like a GTA, if you want to call it that. Uh, so if you can see here, the build deck is like towards the middle rather than the bottom. But anyway, it has the same top fill design. Oops. The same top fill design as all the OBS tanks, um, where it's like a slide. So it's really easy to fill. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one holds around like 3.5 mil or so, e-liquid, maybe 3, something like that. But um, overall, the OBS Cruise 2... Uh, made our list and I was expecting to like this man because I love the original OBS Creus even though this is completely different it's a really good performer and for the price you can't really can't go wrong so the next one is the Vandy Vape Govad RTA unlike the Kylan this is a single coil RTA it has a clamp style build deck um, it has again that 3D airflow design and we're going to see a lot of that uh, we saw a lot of that too in RTAs this year and a lot of them in this in our list has that. That type of airflow design where you have airflow hitting like under, under the coil, the side of coils, it ends up bringing really, really good flavor in, in my opinion. But this one, the GoVan RTA to me is more aimed towards cloud chasing than flavor chasing. Now the flavor is not bad in this one by any means, but it's not the best out of the bunch. For cloud chasing though, you can put like some really, really thick coil bills in here, relatively easy. It's very easy to wick. It has either a 2 ml EDL capacity with that, um, I guess, I don't know if you want to call it a rubber piece or whatever. It's like, it looks like Dalarin. It's basically an insert 
that uh, cuts the e liquid capacity down from from four mL to like two mL. Um, so if you me personally, I take it out. I just left it in, you know, because it's, I just want to show you how it comes. Uh, it has an 810 drip tip up top. It has a fully adjustable bottom airflow. It has zoo flow control as well. But like I said, this is definitely the airier RTA out of the bunch and the single coil bunch. This is definitely very, very air wide open. I personally, when I vape this RTA, I have to close it down to about like halfway or so, which does help with the flavor and it adds a bit more restriction to the vape, uh, to the draw, which is what I personally prefer. But this one, if you're into like more of cloud chasing, and you want to vape at a bit of higher wattages, like I, I could vape this tank with um, some pretty hefty coil builds at like 70, 80 watts, no problem, which is quite impressive for one coil. But just keep in mind, you're not going to do that like a, you know, like a single round wire build or something. But for like a, like a fuse clapped in, like a thicker fuse clapped in or alien build, a stack of fuse clapped in, something like that, you want to put that, put that in here and um, you get some pretty good performance overall. So the next one, is the Geek Vape Amit Dual. Um, this is the gold version. These, this is, this is, most of these RTAs, by the way, are offered in multiple different colors. Um, and yeah, so this one I think is available stainless steel, blue, black, and this gold. Like the Geek Vape Amit Dual, this has multiple configurations when it comes to um, you know the size. So this one, I think, this small tank is either two or three mL. And then you can attach the chimney and the other glass tank section, and it makes it to a 5, I think I'm pretty sure it's a 5 mL tank. I'm not 100% sure, I mean, try to keep track of all these RTAs, but it's somewhere around that ballpark, and I'll leave links in the description where you can check each of these out, and, you know, let you you can check the full exact details yourself. But um, this is this is different. You know, like the Kylan and the Amit Duel was relatively similar. The Geekfab Amit uh, Duel Single, I think it's called the Geek Vape Amit 2025, this one specifically. This one is completely different than the GoVad RTA. Uh, even though it has like a 3D airflow design once more, um, this one to me has better flavor than the GoVad RTA. And that's, I'm not saying the GoVad RTA has bad flavor, it's just, just this one is much better in my opinion. It has a bit of a tighter draw, uh, same type of build deck, but this you want to make sure, no this one uh, doesn't have a clamp style, sorry, it's like a two post build deck. But this one, you want to make sure you want to um, cut the, the the excess leads flush the build deck. If you don't, it could possibly cause a short. So just make sure. And I usually recommend that with any RTA when you're when you're building, just make sure you cut the leads flush the build deck because you want to avoid a short at all all times. Because man, that it, the taste is terrible. So um, yeah, the Geekfab Amit 25. Definitely one of my favorite single coil RTAs. This one is probably uh, towards the top for me personally. When it comes to single coil RTAs, this one's definitely towards the top. I really enjoy vaping this one. Um, it just fits my vaping style a bit better than the others. So the next one I'm going to mention was it's kind of went under the radar, and there's not like a ton of reviews out for them for this specific RTA, and is the Envy Artisan RTA. Now the only con with this for me is, and it's not necessarily a con, it's just more of an annoyance, uh, the build deck. You, the build deck comes out and in order to, for you to build on it, there's like an additional, um, like I guess, connection or connector that you you put your, your build deck in and then you connect it to your mod and then you have to build it. Kind of like, I don't know if you remember the Moonshot RTA um, that the build deck came out of the, the RTA itself. This is kind of similar, but this is not as bad as the Moonshot. The Moonshot, even though it gives great flavor and stuff like that, I know there's a lot of Moonshot fans out there. Uh, that, 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 man, uh, the, the RTA was just hell. But anyway, the the Envy Artisan, this is a 22 millimeter atomizer, by the way, unlike all the other ones that are 24 and 25 millimeter. Um, so this will fit like on your small uh, discrete mods, you know, like, the e Petite from Lost Vape or like the, the Lava Bot DNA 75. Just, you know, some small mods that come to my head. But the, the flavor out of this RTA, man, it, it's really, really, really good. For a single RTA, you wouldn't think you would get some type of flavor like this. The flavor out of this RTA is very, very, very good. Uh, this is definitely more for the flavor chaser. If you're into flavor chasing and you don't mind, you know, the annoyance of the, the whole builder thing I just mentioned, I highly, highly recommend this RTA. I was very surprised when I first got my hands on it and I started vaping on it. 
Uh, the flavor from the artisan, man, is really, it's top notch. And what's great about this is that, you know, you'll vape it at like 30, 40 watts to get a really, really good and saturated vape experience. You don't need to pump massive watts in here. And you're not going to be putting a giant bill in here anyway. Like I put a single, uh, a normal Clapton coil in here, like a 0 0.6, 0 0.7 ohm, and I'll vape it at like 30 watts and I'll get a hell of a vape. So definitely, if you're into flavor chasing, looking for a single coil RTA and, um, you know, you don't mind that whole build like thing, the Envy Artisan RTA, man, is definitely, I, I highly recommend it for me personally. Now the next one, is, is more newer to the list. Uh, some of these RTAs were out for like a good five months or so, but this one is like a newer one and is the Geek Fame Zeus RTA. This one is top airflow, so you pretty much won't be getting any leaking from this RTA at all. And it has a very, very unique build deck where it has like two posts worth of airflow. Uh, so that airflow is hitting the coast from the side and it has airflow coming up underneath. So it has this type of like 3D airflow, but it's done much differently. Uh, and it's top airflow. And the airflow on this is a bit on the restrictive side. It's not like super airy. Like if I show it here. See, it's pretty um, uh, restrictive in my opinion compared to some of the other ones on here. But the best thing about this RTA is top airflow. Uh, to me, the, fl the flavor is good, but it's not like the best flavor out of the bunch. Definitely the Artisan and the Amit 25 give me personally better flavor but the flavor right here is still very good um, it's easy to build on just it's a posted style build deck but you kind of have to angle the coil in a way to, to wick it because the wicked channels are offset but um it's still a really good performer it holds a good amount of e-liquid it is um not like super tall no it's not super short the, like i said the, the most attractive thing out of this is top airflow so it won't be leaking so if that's something you're looking for you're looking for like a great performer, you're looking for a single coil RTA and you want top airflow, the Geek Vape Zeus will probably be something that will interest you. And best of all, you know, most of these RTAs are affordable. Now the last one I'm going to mention, now when I wrote that article on Vapor Cheap, um, the newer version of this RTA wasn't out yet. But now that it's out, I'm going to go ahead and mention both of them. Which is the Digifavy Faro and Faro Mini RTA. So, we did review the original Faro, I mean this big RTA, uh, back in the past when it first released, I think it was like March, March or April, somewhere along those lines. Um, this is not a new RTA by any means, but the, this is definitely more like you have top and bottom airflow, you have a, I think three or four mil like this, and then you come, it comes with an additional tank section that's metal. That adds another 3 ml, so you're talking about like a 7 ml capacity with this tank, if you wanted that. I mean, keep in mind this thing is big, so with that, with the extension piece, it's going to be even bigger. Now the Faro Mini, this is it with the extended form, by the way. This is, and it's about the same size. Uh, let me see if I can do this better for you guys. So it's about the same size as the original Faro. Now the Faro Mini, to me, um, you know... I think in Ruptuber's video he said um, it's like I guess better in, in many ways, but I think they're both good in in its own each way. I think they're both very good RTAs. I don't think either one is bad. This one's definitely too one of my favorite of the bunch when it comes to single coil RTAs, especially the original Faro. I mean, I vaped this tank. I mean, this RTA for a solid four months straight. Like I didn't stop vaping it. I mean, it went everywhere with me when I went on vacation. Um, anywhere I went, this was the RTA I was taking with me because you could fit giant coals in here. I didn't get no leaking. The flavor was good uh, with the airflow at the top airflow closed off. And it was just really reliable and it performed really good. So, I mean, this was like personally my, this is probably my, my personal favorite of the year on the Faro. But when they dropped the Faro Mini now, and it's much smaller than this one, as you see, um, this one is a bit more restrictive. So with me, I personally like a restricted vape. So with the, with the Faro, the original, I would vape it with the airflow uh, cut just a quarter way and then the airflow, the top airflow completely closed. When you open the top airflow in this tank, it kills the flavor like completely. Like to, it just really, it just murders the flavor. But with the, with the top airflow closed, I mean, if you're, unless you're a cloud chasing, then you won't want it. But if you didn't care about flavor, you want to shut down the top airflow. 
But anyway, the bottom airflow with it just about halfway or three quarter way open, the flavor is very, very good actually. It's very easy to wick. It has juice flow control and it's just a solid performing RTA. Now with the Faro Mini, you know, it has like the rib tip, uh, that thing, that's what they call it. It's, it's a smaller variant. It has like a relatively similar build deck. It's easier to wick. Uh, it's more forgiving to wick, I would say. And it's still a great performer. The flavor is, is very good. I mean, I would say it's on par with the original Faro with the top air flow cut. Um, and I think I think this one's probably a little bit better looking than the other one. I mean, that's subjective. If you like how it looks, you does it. But I think it's a very good RTA nonetheless. If you're looking for a single coil RTA, that, you know, this is like the Amit. It, it has two different configurations, like a shorty mode and a tall mode. This is the tall mode. I mean, even a tall mode is not that tall. It's relatively short. But anyway, the Digi Flavor Faro and Faro Mini RTA is definitely some, you know, worthy of making it on our best RTAs of 2017. So I'm going to go ahead and take a vape and wrap this video up. So that's the best RTAs of 2017. Um, like I said before, this is based on our experiences of testing various RTAs. And um, yeah, like mentioned in early in this video, there is a lot of RTAs that released this year. I mean, we saw one, I mean, probably almost every week we saw one this year. Uh, definitely, you saw probably like five or 10 every month, something like that. It was crazy uh, how fast RTAs kind of like popularized this this year i mean there's so many rtas being dropped that so many people started getting into rtas i mean i think with like thicker coil builds and these exotic coil builds you know people go through e liquid fast and with an rda i mean you just drip and costly and with the rta you know you can vapor for a while and then have it to fill it later and these rtas are bigger too so you can fit all these crazy builds in them and i think you know that goes to why squawk is getting popular because you could kind of um you, you don't have to drip, you just squat. But, and, you know, never mind that. So, with the best RTAs, we did mention dual coil and single coil. All these RTAs could accommodate all these bigger, large coil bills, like I was mentioning. And, um, yeah, I'm glad to see that we've seen, a, we saw a lot of single coil RTAs being released because uh, there is a market for it, for it. And I think the market for single coil atomizers has grown. I mean, for both RTAs and RDAs, we've seen a lot and we're seeing more and more. So I'm definitely interested in seeing what's going to come into uh, 2018 when it comes to atomizers, definitely RTAs. But um, let us know in the description, what is your favorite RTA? Do you prefer dual coil RTAs? Do you prefer uh, single coil RTAs? I'm definitely interested to know what you guys think. Uh, what's your favorite RTA? What RTA you're currently vaping on? Or, you know, what you're looking forward to? Uh, let, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing all your thoughts. And uh, if you don't agree with us, that's fine. Like I said, it's subjective. Uh, and there's so many out there, so it's not going to be the same for everybody. So that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching Frat Cloud TV brought to you by Vapor Cheap. I do, I do hope this video helps you out in making a purchasing decision in regards to what RTA you want to buy. If you want to see more from us, be, give, be sure to give us a subscribe. Be sure to check out VaporCheap.com where we post at least 10 deals every day. We have more reviews, articles, and tons of other things like giveaways. So with all that being said, thanks again for watching. i see you guys in the next one. Make sure to keep it cloudy.